David Kotak from Cumberland Advisors spends a few minutes speaking with Dr. Robert Carell on conditions in the Arctic. Okay. Bob, thank you for this morning. My pleasure. It was a marvelous presentation. 36 hours ago, where were you? I was in Tromsø, Norway, which is um, one of the most beautiful little cities way up there. But I had been only the day before inland, way above in, among the reindeer herders, in a little village called Kautikano. And they call themselves the reindeer capital of the world. <laughs> the reindeer capital of the world. <laughs> and um, I work with these people because this is their livelihood. People think of reindeers with a red nose and all of the wonderful stories, but this is their business. They sell the product. That's how they maintain their livelihood. Wow. And this thing is changing dramatically, their world. But I do work up there a lot, but this was one of those times where when Bob called and I had another one, the only thing to do was get you it all done. You got it all done. On one day yesterday. You, you, it, you made a marvelous trip and yeah. You're a, you mesmerized the audience today well, wow. in, in de depicting in an economy of time the change that's taking place worldwide. Yeah. You gave it a global view. If you had to summarize the takeaway so that people who are looking at a short video yeah. were to have a takeaway and then they can go and look at the video live stream and right. your entire yeah. presentation, see your slides. Yeah. But in a summary, what would you say to them to motivate them to spend a few minutes with your message that you gave us today? Well, thank you. I think that the idea is that what happens in, in the Arctic actually is born on the planet. It's uh, the CO2 in the atmosphere, it's all the things that Lenny talked about in terms of pollution and all the other factors. Those things occur around the planet. For a unique reason, this all migrates to the north. So things happen there much more dramatically. So if you really want to know what's going to happen down here, it's happening now in the Arctic and we'll see it down here 30 years from now. So it's a kind of a model for the future because it's happening. As one of my friends says, what happens in the Arctic never stays there. It goes back to those poor guys who gave it to us. <laughs> and so I want to get them to understand that help looking at the Arctic, it's kind of a, a bellwether. It's the canary in the mine, if you will. It's the warning that tells us what's coming. And that then can be localized, what's happening in Sarasota or what's happening in, in Bangladesh and other places on the planet. Cause this problem is a local problem for everybody, born in a global context. So I'd like people to understand that there is some factual basis for what we know. The ice cores give us, tree rings give us, look at sediments in the deep ocean. Mother Nature lays down what she's done. It's our job then to tease it out. And as I said just before we ended, first thing we have to do is to know. And then the second is to assess that knowledge. What does that knowledge tell us? What is it really telling us? Then on the basis, when we're living here in Sarasota, let's begin the active plan, the, the way in which we're going to have to move forward and then implement the plan. Those are the four elements of, of what we have to do. No, accept, yes. stop the finger right, pointing, right. and let's go to work to get things better. Absolutely Is that right. the message from That's Bob right. Correll? That's right. Thank you very much. My Thank pleasure. you for the trip. It's uh, great to have you and uh, meet you. Well, I'm delighted. Um, and um, I, this is the first time I've been in Sarasota. I've been in other parts of this western part of the state. But I only moved down here six years ago, so I'm a new boy. We can get you another visa. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. You.